What is up YouTube? I'm here today for a special first thoughts video. Today we'll be looking at hardcore cottagecore from Two Scoop Games. If you enjoy games like Vampire Survivor or just enjoy cozy games in general, you'll want to keep your eye out for this game. This game is still in development and I was very lucky to be contacted by Two Scoop Games to take a look at the demo they have available for a select few. So with that in mind, here are my first thoughts. For this game being an early development, it has no right being this fun and this smooth of a game. Not only do you get three Q characters to choose from, but you also have couch co-op as well. You can choose between Mush Boy, Puff, and Poison Shroom. At the start of a game, you get assigned three out of a total of five offensive abilities that you use and upgrade while you defend your garden. The abilities are random each time you play, so you can get a bit of a variety. Every time you level up, you get to choose between your abilities to improve or a little snack for some much needed health. The great thing about co-op is the fact that you're not handcuffed to your partner. There is a limit of how far apart you can get, but it takes a good bit for you to get that far apart enough for you to even notice. Which is great because one of my biggest gripes when it comes to couch co-op games is you tend to be tethered together and it really limits your movement. As you play, you have a nice little counter showing how many enemies there are to deal with, and as you take them out, plants pop up where they fell, making your garden even more beautiful. There isn't a lot of variety other than the size and color for the enemies as of right now, but with how early in development this is, it's perfectly reasonable. The big bosses that periodically show up, however, throw you for a loop as they fill the screen with projectiles to avoid. As you run around the map, you'll find little snacks on the ground to heal you up, so if you're not close to leveling, you still have a way to heal. You'll also find little devices called disruptors around the map, and when you destroy them, they set off a big explosion taking out all nearby enemies. So if you're in trouble, go give one of them a good smack. There is no end time yet in the game, so you can play as long as you want. Once you get your three abilities fully leveled, you feel pretty much invincible, and we even nuked a boss as soon as it spawned, which feels really good. The music did die after a bit of playing, but again, this is very early in development, so it's understandable. But it wasn't a bad thing at all, because the little popping noises the pea shooters made was very pleasant to listen to while mowing down baddies. This game was very easy to pick up and play. So if you have someone in your life that isn't great at video games, but you still want to try and play something together, this will be a great choice when it comes out. My wife isn't very good with more complicated games, being blind in one of her eyes and having diminished motor skills, but she picked up this game very quickly and had a lot of fun with it, and she never played any kind of game like this before. Overall, this is an amazing little game, and it isn't even close to done. 10 out of 10, you need to keep an eye out for this game and anything else Two Scoop Games is involved in. Follow them on Twitter to keep up with what they're working on. I'll put a link to their Twitter and other games they have on Steam down in the doobly-doo. Once again, big thanks to Two Scoop Games for the opportunity to take a sneak peek at this. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, drop a like and a sub. It would really help me out. I'm always looking for games to review, so if you have a game you'd like to see reviewed, or you made a game and you want someone to take a look at it, feel free to hit me up. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.